Okay, so what is a polynomial? Now, instead of defining what a polynomial is, I'm just going to show you uh, what a polynomial looks like, and then we'll explain the details from there. Okay, so this is what a polynomial lo looks like. So you have a bunch of terms and coefficients and exponents and stuff. So anything, any expression uh, that can be written in this form uh, is a polynomial, and those that cannot be written in this form are not polynomials. All right, let me just explain to you the details of this. Okay, so a sub n, a sub n minus 1, a sub n minus 2, and so on, a sub 1 and a sub 0, these are your coefficients, okay? So these are your, so the blue, uh, those that I marked in blue, these are the coefficients. Uh, then we also have exponents, right? So these are our exponents, n, n minus 1, n minus 2, and so on. 1 and 0, we have a 0 there, that's x to the power of 0. So these are your exponents, right? So those are your exponents. So now how do we know if a certain expression is a polynomial or not? Well, the, you just have to look at the exponents and the coefficients of your um, polynomial. Well, in fact, uh, you really have to focus on the exponent of your variable. In this case, our variable is x, right? So this is our variable right here. Yeah. Okay, so what are the things that we need to look at if we want to identify whether an expression is a polynomial or not? Okay, so look at the exponent um, of the variable x. The exponents should be, okay, the exponents should be positive, positive whole numbers, okay? positive whole numbers uh, but that could include 0 too okay including 0 so 0 is not positive but you, you can include 0 in that case so positive whole numbers including 0 um, and, and, and that's it uh, you just have also to be careful with the coefficient uh, a sub n should be not equal to 0 let me emphasize that one so a sub n uh, cannot be equal to zero because uh, this polynomial, this is called a polynomial. So this is called a polynomial of degree of degree n. Okay. So the degree of this polynomial is n. Now, what does degree mean? So degree uh, means it's the highest or the biggest exponent, right? So the highest exponent uh, of your uh, variable x. So that's degree, so your highest exponent is n, and if you set a sub n equals 0, then that this will not be a polynomial of degree n anymore because this will disappear, and so your highest degree would be n minus 1, so this polynomial becomes a polynomial of degree n minus 1. We don't want that, we want our poly polynomial to be of degree n. Okay, and also the coefficients has to be uh, real numbers, okay? So coefficients has to be real numbers. You don't want complex numbers as your coefficients. So that's really uh, uh, how you determine uh, whether an expression is a polynomial or not. Now just to give some examples, let me do that. Uh, okay, example one. So an example of a polynomial would be this one to say 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 3. So this is a polynomial because, well, um, if you look at the if you look at the exponents, these are all positive. If you look at the coefficients, these are all real numbers. And the coefficient of of um, x cubed is non-zero. This is not zero. So, so that's it. That's how you know that this is a polynomial. Another example would be, let's say, oops, sorry. Another example would be, let's say, x to the fifth minus three um, x cubed plus one. So, as you can see, although although um, some uh, exponents uh, are missing, right? you're missing x to the fourth x squared. Uh, but what what happened is that 
the 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 coefficients for let's say x to the power four is zero. Right? Remember, only only um, a to the power of n cannot be zero, right? So it's only this first the coefficient of the first term can't be equal to zero. This is the only time where a sub n or the the coefficient can't be equal to zero, but for the other coefficients, such as this one, that one, and the other coefficients, they can be equal to zero. And so that's what happened in this case. So if I may write the complete form of this polynomial, the complete form would be x to the fifth uh, plus zero times x to the fourth uh, minus three x cubed plus zero x squared plus zero x plus one. So this is the complete form of this polynomial, but of course, we don't have to write this one, this one, and that one because their ex uh, their coefficients are zero. They're they're basically zero, so we don't have to write them. Okay, now uh, examples for non polynomials. Let me have. So for non polynomials, this is for polynomials. So for non polynomials, uh, say for example. Say x cubed minus 2x squared plus square root of x minus 1. So, well, if you look at the exponents, you see, okay, the first exponent is positive. The second exponent is also positive. But if you look at this one, what's the exponent for x, right? You have a square root of x. Well, we can rewrite square root of x as, remember, square root of x is just equal to x to the power of 1 half. Right, so... If you look at the exponent, the exponent for x is one half, which is not a whole number. It's not, it's not a whole number, right? So therefore, this is not a polynomial for that reason. Now let's have a, a last example for non-polynomials. So we could have, we could have, um, let me use. So we could have um, five x to the fourth uh, plus x cubed. Um, minus x to the power of negative 2 plus x plus 1. So this one is not a polynomial because of this exponent. You have a negative exponent. There should be, there should be only positive whole number exponents. So you can't have a negative exponent, and that's the reason why this is not a polynomial.